So it's big mm-hmm. for me to fight on this card because now my city gets to see me fight. So it's not it's not just a small fight though. Mm-hmm. This is a championship fight for me. Oh, it is. I mean, because my city get to be there. Uh, I got a lot of support, major support. You know, people just been waiting to see me fight here for the longest, and I'm I'm just proud and happy that Dwayne Vandross put this on, so you know I can actually have this city, mm-hmm. you know, uh, get involved. You know, I think this would be like a big thing to be like, okay, when's the next one? Mm-hmm. 2012, I was 22. So, uh, yeah, ever since I was probably like 21, 22, I've been trying to focus on turn pro, yeah. Trying to get a fight, you know, happening somewhere here. But Denmark is my second home, and I appreciate that, you know, it happened so quick there, Mm -hmm. you know. So it was awesome. So you said you were a a hell of a kid in school. (laughs) What did did you do, man? Oh, man, I mean, uh, you know, I gave teachers uh, a lot for their money, you know. I... uh, (laughs) No, seriously, I'm going to be straight up, you know, in this interview. Last time I kind of froze up in the first one Mike did. This time I'm going to be straightforward. Uh, man, I gave teachers hell, you know, and and I look back and I just be like, all they was do was just trying to better me, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, uh, time out all the time, uh, foul language, you know, um, <sighs> Tardiness, about 24 tardies. Uh, my ninth grade year, I had seven Fs. You know, I had to turn that around. Mm-hmm. Coach made me clean out the spit bucket, you know, until I got those Fs up. Uh, cleaning the gym until I got those Fs up. You know, it was just, it was just trying to be, you know, what I wasn't, basically, you know. And uh, I say probably, Elementary and high school was my worst. Mm-hmm. You know, probably around like the 11th grade, I had to make that that turnaround. You know, for the best.